What's up guys? My name is Fish Anonymous and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to introduce you guys to my new pet frog. He's a red-eyed tree frog. All right guys, just come a little closer. I'm show you guys and tell you guys more about him. The red-eyed tree frog is native to Costa Rica and also found in tropical lowlands from southern Mexico throughout Central America. If you look closely, they have bright red colored eyes, orange foot pads, and blue purplish markings on its side. The bright colors are used as a last defense towards potential predators. All right, now let's talk about humidity. Humidity is very important with these frogs. I like to spray a tank in the mornings and in the afternoon. It's best to keep the humidity at around 75 to 90% humidity in the tank. The ideal temperature range is 70 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. During the night, temperatures can drop a few degrees lower. The red-eyed tree frog spends most of its day tucked away under large leaves to avoid being seen by predators. It tucks his legs and feet into itself, like shown in the photo. These frogs have the ability to stick onto different surfaces, including glass, due to the suction-like foot pads under the tree frog's feet. Oh wow, did you guys see that? These frogs are called monkey frogs for their jumping abilities. In the wild, red-eyed tree frogs are said to be able to jump 20 times its own body length. Red-eyed tree frogs are an arboreal species, which means they spend most of their time up in the trees. The circle behind the frog's eye is actually the frog's ear. These frogs are adapted with great hearing and vision. Alright guys, it's time for another spray down of the tank. It's also very important to spray down a tank heavily at night. It helps keep the humidity high and hydrates the frog. As with all amphibians, the quality of water used to spray down your tank is vital for the success of maintaining a red-eyed tree frog. It's important to use dechlorinated water since the frogs have semi-permeable skin. It allows them to absorb water through their skin. Alright guys, it's feeding time and red-eyed tree frogs are nocturnal, which means they like to be active at night. In the wild, they like to hide in the rainforest canopy. They like to ambush crickets, flies, and moths with their long sticky tongue. But in captivity, I usually like to feed my frog medium to small crickets. But also very important is to powder them with calcium so the frog can get the essential calcium it needs.
right, guys. Thanks for watching this week's video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. And I'll be back with more videos. Peace.